This is one of the best music video edits I've ever seen in my life. Hi, my name is Jordan Orm. I'm a pro music video editor for artists like these guys. So if you've watched my videos by now, you've probably heard of Wondershare Filmora. Filmora is an easy to use, powerful editing software that you don't need to take hours or even days to learn. The interface is so easy to use and you can jump right in and start. There are tons of preset templates like text, overlays, filters, and animations to help you create videos as fast as possible. Not to mention, it's very beginner friendly. Filmora just got updated to a new version and they added a lot of really cool features that I've been wanting for a long time. One of my favorites is audio visualization. Instead of hopping into After Effects to create those cool waveforms that you see on those like videos. All you have to do is click on your favorite audio visualization preset and you're good to go. Plus, Filmora has just added more AI portrait effects. And if you're making dance videos, people, this is freaking awesome. Honestly, could be a move for dance therapy. Also, if you're just getting started editing and you don't know what to edit, check out Wondershare Filmstock. Filmstock's massive library has over 10 million assets that you can quickly download and stick into your video. So hit the link in the description to try Filmora for free. Keep in mind that the free trial does have a water bark, but here's the deal. Share this video on Twitter with hashtag Jordan Orm with Filmora, and I'll pick three lucky winners to get the full version for free. Oh my god. This is like a mix of turbulent displacement along with pixel sorting. So pixel sorting takes pixels and stretches them really far in one direction. Look at the background and see how it's all distorted and stretching. That is pixel sorting. This video is done by Ridge and Film. They have the best editors in the K-pop industry. I do wish on this tilt down that maybe they did a crossfade or something so I couldn't tell that there was a cut right here. My gosh, they are going so hard. The X choreography turns into an X on an invert. The X starts spinning into the exact same velocity as this spinning compass shot. I am not even prepared for this video. Oh, with the speed ramps. See these light flashes? If you look at it frame by frame, you can see that they're just light streaks. Perhaps the camera operator was just whipping the camera around. And then when you put those light streaks on the blend mode of screen, all the darkness disappears and you can just see the light parts. It's a really cool texture to add to music video editing. There's so much to talk about. This could be a 45 minute editing breakdown. The jump cuts. The way that the wanted was was cut in before we even got into the shot. They just had the word wanted cut in, and then it's actually in the background behind our flag twirlers from Hillsong. Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. Oh, the bullet flew through his heart hand, destroying the L, which turns darling into daring. We are 19 seconds in. I just wanna do this. Hey, that was actually pretty good. Our coin says, bet your tomorrow on the son of fate, or on the son of fate, bet your tomorrow, or tomorrow on the son of fate, bet your. Fate bet your tomorrow on the son of. I don't know which one it is. I have to talk about this. Normally you, you do zooms in K-pop videos. They decided to not zoom the camera, but zoom the subject. We zoom out, his hand goes through the black bars, which creates a 3D effect. And then look at this. They zoom in the subject instead of the entire frame, which gives us that really bouncy look when he's beatboxing. That is a tip I've never seen and I'm so excited to apply in my own work. Zooming in the subject. Oh. 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 oh my. Okay, they did the wanted thing again. I want to die because of this. <laughs> Look at the amount of motion graphics they're using. There's so much rotoscoping going on in this. They had to cut him out and animate all of these motion graphics 
frame by frame. The amount of work that this takes to do is insane. I am so impressed. Ooh. This transition, I had to watch like 12 times just to figure out. So we take a shot, rotoscoped, put it over this shot, and then we take another shot, rotoscope out his entire body or just <laughs> in between his legs, and then we cut to that actual shot, and then we show the wanted sign, and then we cut to the actual shot with the wanted sign. So rotoscoping out the next shot and putting the subject over the previous shot creates a really cool transition, especially if you do it more than once. Guys, we are 36 seconds. <laughs> No, this is so not okay. This is not okay. I love how they're using action to match the snare drum. So watch this section. Ooh. One other tip that you can use to make an action feel more impactful is actually cut out frames in between where they're swinging and the impact. He's swinging the bat and then all of a sudden it jumps to him hitting it right here. There's actually a few frames in between this, but when you cut out those frames, it makes the swing seem way faster. And then the editor actually punches in to use the fire as a transition, which is genius. Ooh. That is disgusting. Bro, I have to redo my best transitions video now and just and just do this video. Ooh. I was me in Wisconsin with my BB gun. Oh my god. Like what is this? Between every scene, there's a visual effect transition that is so genius. He shoots the gun into a bullet that is this sun dial, whatever, I don't know what this is, which explodes into the next shot where there's an actual sun decoration in the background. What? Do you know how hard this is to do? All right, this is, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. We gotta talk about some of this. We can't just skip through this. I'm wondering if he actually used a stock footage shot for this section right here, where he kicks up the coin, matches it perfectly with probably just a stock firework. Because we associate sparklers with fireworks, you can actually overlay this stock footage on the blend mode of screen and it'll blend perfectly. Insane. They just rotoscoped him out and just copied him a couple times. Like, cause why not? We're doing all this rotoscoping anyway. Let's just, I can't. I'm gonna die. Ooh, that cut in right to emphasize that moment. So nice. I might just quit watching this. I'm in full conflict. This is one of the best music video edits I've ever seen in my life. The lyrics say, shadow cast with my back to the sun turns to light again. So our first shot to emphasize this lyric is a really nice shot of the shadow turning darker. And then we have this really cool choreo moment where they're actually imitating a shadow. And then we go back to this original shadow with the most stupid mash cut I've ever seen. And I don't know if this is VFX, it probably is, just because sometimes shadows are hard to control. But if that's a real shadow, that's the dopest shadow freaking mash cut I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh. Dude, the dance is so good too. Oh my. Again, they take a shot from the next scene. This clip of him right here isn't even the, the first shot of the next scene, but they take a clip of him from the next scene, rotoscope him out, put it over this scene, and it just creates a super sick transition. Oh, oh the hip! 
stop it. All right, I just gotta calm down. I just gotta calm down. He is holding a bullet in his mouth as if the gunpowder in the bullet itself is burning. How BA is that? Hot, hot, hot. And then they took a cigarette burn, which if you don't know, cigarette burns are a little circle at the beginning of film rolls. And they put in a clip of a handgun, rotate it as he shoots, and then the bullet hits a mirror. If you don't break it down frame by frame, you're gonna miss all of this stuff. And so editors, if you see this stuff, like myself, and I'm just like, I have no idea. I don't know how I could even begin to get that good at editing. All you have to do is frame by frame it on YouTube. These little arrow keys right here, just frame by frame it. And you can start to reverse engineer the edits and learn how to create them yourself. So good, man. I'm so freaking impressed. Did they just transition this liquid into fire? I don't know what's coming out of there. It looks like blood. I don't know. But they added it as an overlay and it just happened to match where the fire started in their gas line that they have on set. The attention to detail to create that edit is absolutely insane. Oh, <laughs> Skelly, baby. Oh. How much money are they spending on this video? You can see a ton of those textured shots, like sparks, lights flying by, put on the blend mode of screen. It just adds to the chaos. It adds to the chaos of the grand finale of the video. 